Welcome to Michael's online creative art tutorial. Today's topic, we're going to be looking at the principle of art. By the end of the lesson, you should have been able to explain the meaning of the principle of art, list the various principles of art, discuss and differentiate each of these various principles of art. So what is the principle of art? The principle of art or design are those rules that serve as guidelines on how the element of art should be arranged and rightly placed in a design. In our last topic, we treated the elements of art or the elements of design, where we said a design is an orderly arrangement of lines, shapes, texture, motif, color, space, and form in the production of an artwork. These are the elements of design. The principles of design, on the other hand, helps to guide the artist during the process of arranging the elements of design. The principle of design includes balance, variety, proportion, rhythm, simplicity, motif, emphasis or dominant, and harmony. Now let's look at balance. Let's take a look at balance. The principle of balance, in one word, equates to equality. The principle states that an artwork should be arranged in such a way that not one part overpowers or seem to be heavier than another part. Balance distributes the elements in design so that you have an equal appreciation given to all part as much as visibly possible. For the work to be balanced, it must appear stable, steady, and restful. Variety. The principle of variety in one word equates to defenses that create excitement. Variety allows for differences in shapes, color, texture, pattern, bringing all this together in an organized manner to create excitement, vitality, and interest. Proportion. The principle of proportion in one word conveys the need for proper measurement. The principle of proportion guides the artist in distributing proper height, size, color, or shape that elements in design. For example, one cannot draw a chicken bigger than a man or draw an ant bigger than a house. That drawing would not be in proper proportion. Rhythm. The principle of rhythm in one word also means repetition. The principle of repetition allows for the repetition of certain elements in such a way that it creates a flow, like an active movement towards a given direction. Sometimes the artist will repeat not just certain elements but the same exact object over and over again to stimulate the sense of visual movement simplicity the principle of simplicity in one word translates to clarity the principle of simplicity requests that an artwork should be simple and clear enough to be understood an artwork should not be too complex or too hard to be understood motif motive the principle of motif in one word refers to goal as a principle of design, motif communicates the goal, or overall objective, or the primary idea in the mind of the artist who produced the artwork. If after appreciating an artwork, the observer fails to grasp the motive behind the, 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 the artwork, then the originator of the artwork has failed. Emphasis or dominant. Another word to describe the principle of emphasis is dominant. Emphasis is a principle which draws attention to certain parts of a design in an artwork. Emphasis makes part. Uh, in emphasis, the artist makes certain parts of a design stand out from the rest to draw attention to it. Dominant helps the artist control what the viewer should look at first, like a center of interest. Harmony. Harmony is a principle is a principle of design which is closely related to unity though they are though though they are two different principles harmony like a bind harmony is like a binding element which unifies all the other visual elements in design into one peaceful whole in arranging and rearranging the elements in design they should be placed in such a way that an element does not disagree or is not unity with another part of a design for example I can't be drawing a kitchen composition in the midst of the object and shapes that I put in my composition, say probably cutleries, potteries, a fridge, a copper table. I then include the toilet seat somewhere in between. That drawing or that it to the, the toilet seats in that composition would totally disagree with other elements of the design. 
your assignment. Closely criticize this painting by discussing if balance as a principle can be found in it. So the question is, um, is, is can we find balance in the can we find balance in the work or not? So I want you to discuss it.